Up next, Katie Crossan, who has spoken to Ignite before. The last time she was here, she was talking about cooking naked. Now she's going to talk about walking. I think that's called streaking. Yes. Woohoo! Okay, quick question. Raise your hand or clap if you came here in a car. Okay, cut it. Raise your hand or clap if you walked, rode your bike, or took the bus here. I think some of you are lying. But you people, if you did, you are my heroes because I came here in the bus. I got rid of my car in December. We had a mutual agreement. Uh, she needed a new engine. I wasn't going to pay for it. And so I thought about it. Can I live in Cincinnati without a car? I live in Over the Rhine. I work close to downtown. And it's actually easy. Car free or car light is easy if you're coming in or out of Cincinnati. By the way, don't you like those arrows on this graphic? Serious. So, okay, it's easy if you're coming in and out. And I've discovered there are some great benefits to going car free. First of all, my ass is harder than ever. My le <laughs> Thank you. My legs have gotten firmer. I've lost a little bit of weight. I feel really healthy. Uh, I am actually, if you can see it, I've got my pedometer on. And when I walk, uh, now that I don't have a car, I hit about 7,000 steps a day. The goal is 10,000, and that's five miles. When I, did, when I had a car and I was walking regularly, I only hit about 3,000 steps. Um, if you want to ride your bike and ditch the car, there are a lot of efforts that will help you. Cincinnati Cycle Club, Mobo, they actually asked me to come and talk to them. And then also Queen City Bike. Lots of opportunities for cycling in Cincinnati. Uh, but also, the best thing about not driving is that my mental health has improved immensely. I am not the girl on 71 northbound at 5.30 flicking people off and swearing. Really, it's, I'm a much happier person. Uh, another benefit, cash money. People, I am not paying a car payment. I'm not paying insurance. I'm not paying for gas or parking. I am easily saving $700 a month. Think about it. That's a lot of money for your golden handcuffs of a car. Speaking of gas, let's talk about this. When I got rid of my car, on December 27th, gas was $3.05 a gallon. Last week, it was averaging $3.87. You know it's gone up since last week, and it's only going to get worse. It's not a matter of if and when. It's not a matter of if gas hits $10 a gallon. It's a matter of when. And you're going to have to make some tough sacrifices. You're going to have to decide if you want to keep driving that car and living further away or moving to the core, baby. You gotta move to the co core. Because I don't have my vehicle expenses. I have a smaller footprint. My footprint is basically Central Business District and over the Rhine, and I am spending all of my money in those two neighborhoods. I'm making an economic impact in Cincinnati. I'm also making an environmental impact. When I had my car, my CO2 output was over 9,000 pounds a year. That's a really big carbon footprint. Since I got rid of my car, my carbon footprint in one year is gonna be 5,000 pounds. That is a really significant impact. And if we can all do it together, we're gonna to make really great changes for the environment. In Cincinnati, we need to do that. Because I don't have to tell you, some bad things are happening with the environment. First of all, the long-term effects. The polar ice cap is melting. Also, the air in Cincinnati. Cincinnati is consistently on the list of one of the worst cities in the United States for air quality. It's not a coincidence, people. Another benefit, the bus. I love Metro. And you might think it's hard to navigate the website. It's actually really easy. You just have to figure it out. So with the, between the website and your smartphone, you can figure out how to get where you're going. But I have good news for you. Metro is right now testing out Google Transit. All you have to do is pull out your smartphone, say where you are, where you want to go. It'll tell you which route, where to pick it up, and when you're going to get where you need to go. And also, I got to say, pitch for the streetcar, people. <laughs> Cincinnati needs the streetcar. It is going to make a huge economic imprint in how our economy is downtown. It helped me get around and it helped you get around. The benefits, I am making friends left and right. I did not know Dan Corman until I got rid of my car. Dan, clap, where are you? Woohoo! Dan now sends me text messages about how much he loves me. 
I also, since I am walking in my neighborhood of over the Rhine, I am very visible. I am making friends. I say hello to everybody I see. And that's actually really smart. I'm developing rapport with the people in over the Rhine. They recognize me, they know me, and they're gonna keep me safe. Now, this is a, uh, this is a graphic from Walt Disney World in the early 1980s. They were ahead of the time, people. Transportation, public transportation, and getting rid of your car, it is not the wave of the future. It's a thing that we're doing now. So get on board. Thank you.